Okay, guess I should start from the start. Two two batteries in series, that's 24 volts or 20 volts. As you can probably just about see there. 20 volts. Okay, I don't have a battery charge on them, it doesn't matter. Two cells, they're in series as well. Both of these pipes going into two bubblers. Very quickly. There's bubbler one. Look at bubbler two. And this. They both come from there into one bubbler, all the way down there. And this is the big needle, and it is going mad. I'm very happy. All right, we're going to light it. Okay. Black. There we go. I hope you can see it. Uh, it isn't coming out as big as it is in real life. The camera doesn't seem to pick up all the heat. But even if you hold your finger like a good bit away from it, you can actually still feel the heat of it. Right, so I'm going to try melt my can. There we go. Oh! There we go. Okay. I'm wearing glasses, by the way. As you can guess, there's some heat off it. There we go, look, it's red. This is copper, by the way. Uh, I can't remember what this is called, but it's a very tough metal. It uh, goes up to... Ver okay, I don't know the exact temperatures, but it goes up to very high temperatures because it comes out of a kiln. So it's like an element in a kiln. This is just a copper pipe. My hands are really wobbly. Look at this coming out. Okay, there we go. I can see it heating anyway. Okay, my camera's way out of focus. But it doesn't matter. Uh, anything else? Oh, the steel wool. Steel wool. Whoa, look at that! I hope that goes out. <laughs> <laughs> it's not gonna go out! <laughs> That's good. I hope this is coming out. Right there, there you can go see it. That's just little bits of steel wool. Wood. Oh. That's just burning wood. Look at that for a sucker of a thing. There you can start to see the aluminium starting to heat up. Hmm, anything else? The copper is pretty cool. You can see how the heat is. Yeah, I don't have the most steadiest hand. There, it's going red. And these are my bubblers. This is the new way I'd find of putting it out. Just choke it. it. Seems to work pretty well. And it cools the needle down. But I'm so happy with that. Look, it's going mad. Okay, so very quickly what I did was so you have two bubblers. One here and that one there. And they both come. I had a T section on it and feeding into one, but what I found was one of them one of the cells is more powerful than the other and it's pressurizing the other one. 
so the other one wasn't actually producing gas. So this way, one feeds into this one, one feeds into this one, and it's the sum of them then going down my pipe, and I still have the steel ball in it. The steel ball ju works just as good. The only thing is, if you have a lot of pops, sometimes a little bit of water gets in there, and it rusts, but you and it has to be replaced. But it's only that section, you just pop it out with a screwdriver, put some new stuff in, works great. There's my needle still going. Let's see what else we can find. I have no idea what this is. That's just a, a rusty old nail. That's what the hand was for. Okay. Wow, that's getting hot. Like Sir Hoke said, I really do need to have something on the tip to keep the tip cool. But uh, I'm happy. And uh, this is basically my project sorted. Yeah, there we go. I just want to say a special thanks to uh, Sir Hoax and to a uh, huge, huge thank you to uh, Strap9. Without his help, I really wouldn't have been anywhere close to this. Okay, I don't think I've... My pressure might have gone down. I've probably dropped some bolts. Yeah. But uh, I am happy. Oh, and by the way, I'm running at about 20 amps. No, 17 amps. 17 volts. Okay, later YouTube.